It's very likely that the pet you adopt from the Dumb Friends League has spent some time in a foster home. Foster parents are a dedicated group of volunteers who open their homes to animals in need for short periods of time until they're ready for adoption. Our friend Megan Reese from the Dumb Friends League is here to share more about the foster care program, and she's going to introduce us to this adorable dog <laughs> for adoption. Who is this, Megan? This is Wrigley. Aww. He is four years old. Wrigley! And he's, I think he looks like a little miniature golden retriever, but he He's a dachshund he mix. We're not sure exactly what else is in there, but um, he's a great dog. He is great with children. He's yeah. very lovable, playful, very curious. He's been very busy this morning. He's active. He really <laughs> is. So a family would be perfect, maybe with some kids who love to yeah. walk. Yeah. Yep. He lived I with young kids in the past. And also we're recommending a home that has another dog that he can have a buddy with. Um, probably a home, you know, where he can have lots of space to play, a backyard, because he is pretty, pretty active. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about foster families. If we can't adopt a dog on a permanent basis, we can certainly help foster animals for you. You definitely can. It's a great way to get involved with the organization, um, especially if you're not in a position to adopt. Here, let Wrigley play. <laughs> Wrigley wants to just look I'll around for a down. little bit. Come here, Wrigley, come over here. You know, Wrigley smells, we've had so many animals on Colorado and Company over the years. <laughs> Wrigley's cruising to smell all the animals. So to talk about the foster program. So it's a program that we have where foster parents care for animals in their home temporarily until they're ready for adoption. Um, especially as we head into the spring and summer months, we're gonna see a huge intake of cats and kittens, mm -hmm. um, which are a big need of ours and foster parents. How long do they actually foster the animals? It depends, it uh, varies based on the animal and the animal's needs. Um, and it's really up to your schedule too. Sometimes it's days, sometimes it's weeks. Um, we've also had foster animals in homes for months, depending on what they need. But it's really flex flexible. It's based on your schedule. If you right. need to go out of town or make a sudden trip somewhere, you can bring the animal back and we'll care for it or find it in uh, another foster home until it's ready to go up for adoption. You also offer the Foster Buddy Program. What's that? Foster buddies are animals that are in foster homes, but they are still available for adoption. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times this is um, cats that maybe don't do well in the shelter, dogs that just kind of get shut down and really depressed in the shelter. So we'll send them to a home where they can um, thrive. The foster parent gets an opportunity to really learn a lot about their personality. So that's a great way if you have specific needs and you do want to adopt, to adopt a foster buddy. Um, we know so much about them and we can really give you insight into what they're like in a home environment. So I'm thinking, gosh, I will get so attached to the pet that I'm fostering and then I have to give it up? What happens in that situation? You know, I think most of our foster parents will tell you that yes, you do tend to get a little attached at times, but the thought that and the knowledge that you are helping this animal for the rest of its life outweighs the heartbreak right. or any, any heartbreak you feel when you do have to say goodbye. It's such a great thing that we do for these animals when you foster. Um, it helps them find homes quicker. It helps them be happier and healthier in their homes. And it's, you know, it really does make a huge difference for our shelter and for the pets that are in foster homes. You are a big doggy. <laughs> Let me see if I can pick you up. Oh my gosh. Look at Wrigley. Wrigley wants to go home with you and he's just a little cuddle bug. If they want to adopt Wrigley, what should they do? Give us a call at 303-751-5772 and our counselors will tell you all about Wrigley and uh, see if you can set up a time to come meet this little guy. And ddfl.org is a great website. You know, I, I absolutely love the Dumb Friends League. I help out throughout the year. If someone yes. wants to volunteer or become a foster buddy, what's the best way? Best way to do that is to apply online at ddfl.org. Mm -hmm. um, click on the Get Involved tab and there's a link to our online volunteer application where you can volunteer or apply to be a volunteer or volunteer foster parent. Okay. Um, any other way you want to help with the Dumb Friends, you can learn about it there. Wrigley's like my new baby. You want to go <laughs> home with me? I'll bring you home. <laughs> All right, if you'd like to adopt cute little Wrigley, then call 303-751-5772. Adopt me. Call. Adopt me right now. He's looking for a loving home. Please do call. And remember, you can help the Dumb Friends League in so many different ways, including becoming a foster parent. Learn so much more online. Go to their website. It's DDF l.org or again that phone number is 303-751-5772